Chelsea gave up three miles of the Eagles. Sheffield is the big picture. We all know about He didn't pick up from Cleveland in the end. He literally played a long time ago. So we shall see now if this trade works out. First of all, let's look at it from a Seattle standpoint. The easier not to stay for this. You can't blame Seattle whatsoever. They know they're not going to win the division next year. Uh, they have thrown up their hands after three years of uh, going to the wall, doing everything they possibly could, fun turning every show to see if they can finagle themselves into a playoff spot, something they haven't done in about 19 years, and to no avail. So the Mariners this year are going to go about it a little differently, and I, I don't think they're wrong. They're going to sit there and say, listen, we got used to the Red Sox and the Yankees anyway. We have Cano's contract, which we have to get out of, which is going to take about five, six years, four, five years, whatever it might be. Did it to the end of the same thing. So let's sort of digress some, take a little step back, and maybe build for the future. And that is why they make this trade. And I think it makes perfect sense. They're not willing to, they're not going to win in the next two years anyway. Uh, you know, and then when he's no longer on Patricia Ellis, he's going to want a billion dollars. He's going to be older as a free agent, which means he's going to want to cash in even more so. And the Mariners say, what's the point? He'll be 32 old. Do I want to give him six years? The sort of contracts that I'm straddled with right now, the answer is no. So let's see if we can unload them when the value is high. Yankees need them in the worst way. And we can go out there, we can help our home club with some prospects. Who knows when they have the two prospects that the uh, Mariners got. The Yankees would have lost anyone who lost one of the two anyway with that Rule 5 thing. So I don't think it's having to do with the Yankees, but the Mariners get themselves full of prospects all over Sheffield. Now, a couple of years ago, Sheffield was the real deal. That was going to be an ace. Now I read today, who knows, I can't go by a couple of review outings. Now I hear today that maybe his top off as a third starter. Well, the Mariners did a little better than that. But they have plenty of time to navigate his career. He's only 22 years of age. I have no problem with what Seattle's doing here. You can argue about the players that get back and whether they could have done a little better. But you have to know that it's a three or four years. So why speak about that right now, that they didn't get enough good players back? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. And nobody knows that Sheffield's going to be great. So I'll assume that they have good reports. I will assume that he's still, you know, he's the number one prospect on the Yankees for a reason, that he'll go out there and pitch pretty well for them eventually. So I think from a Seattle standpoint, it makes sense. The Yankees, it's, a, it's a taking a chance to be the Yankees. First of all, he's 30 years of age, so he's not young. Secondly, he's never pitched in New York City. So, I mean, you know, it's a tough market. It has to be This is not that easy to be good here is, you know, and, it takes a special, unique kind of guy. Who knows if he has that characteristic? Number three, he is always hurt. Four. Now you want to sit there and tell me it's not major stuff? You know, it's not elbows. It's not Tommy John. It's not ligaments. It's not rotator cuffs. I'm on that. Now that's fair. Now labrums. I get that. But he's always hurt. The guy never pitches. I mean, they got to be honest. He, he makes 23, 24, 25 starts a year, and that might be good enough for the Yankees as long as he's good in October. But the bottom line is he has not been durable in his career, and he's 30 years old. He's not 23. He's 30. So you got to keep that in mind here before you go crazy and the Yankees had a home run. And the other aspect of it is he's not great on the road. I mean, you know, he had a very good ERA in his ballpark last year, but I can pitch and take, though. And on the road, he's near four of the ERA. And then that would concern me some a little bit as well with Paxson Z away, uh, away from his home ballpark. But the Yankees feel they need uh, a guy who can miss bats. Chef uh, uh, Paxson has been able to do that in his career. Uh, you put him in the top of the rotation with Tanaka and Severino. And then, of course, you got Sadafi as a fifth star. You can figure out a way to get a fourth, whether that be Corbin, whether that be, uh, you know, Jay Happ, whoever that might be. We'll find out down the road. But, I mean, I think the Yankees feel that they are building that rotation where they can go out there and win a championship. Remember, they didn't win a championship two years ago because Verlander and Keiko got a uh, didn't in. They didn't win a championship last year, only because, uh, you know, Elvaldi pitched very well and Purcell was good enough, and the Yankee pitching collapsed uh, in the last couple games against the Red Sox. Really so collapsed the whole series because, obviously, Hack was made in game one. Uh, and came out of the game too quick, but he was bad in game one. Silverino went forever, Sabathia went forever. He can't put Sabathia in any more playoff games. I think the Yankees are coming to that realization. We see about Paxson. I think it's worth the risk. I don't think he's not saying the Kovacs, okay? I mean, I mean, it, 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 he's not going to sail. I mean, this is not the Red Sox getting sail from the White Sox a couple years ago. It's not that way. This is a guy that, uh, you know, he's got some question marks uh, by his name, specifically health, market, ERA away from home. There's no way around it. You can't argue it. You're 100% right. Is it worth the price of Sheffield? From a Yankee perspective, who now, of course, they want to win in 2019, the answer is probably yes. So that's where we begin. I think it's a good trade, good idea for both teams. 
think it's a little risky from a Yankee perspective because they have to win a championship. Mariners, you know, they weren't going to win packs in any way, so whatever they could do from a farm system standpoint, it's a little riskier with the Yankees. We talked to Mr. Shine about this.